So hello everyone, isn't this exciting? The first ever climate cap. Let me be the first to welcome you to Fuqua School of Business here at Duke University. My name's Katie Cross. I am the managing director of the EDGE Center here at Fuqua. That's the Center for Energy, Development, and the Global Environment. Um, we are the home for all things related to education, thought leadership, and industry engagement when it comes to the intersection of energy and environmental issues with business. So we work with MBA students who are pursuing an environmental, energy and environment concentration, as well as students who are pursuing our dual degree, MBA, Masters of Environmental Management, and any MBA student who's interested in learning more about how energy and environmental issues will affect their business careers in the future. So I think it's becoming increasingly clear to all of us who work in business or in business education that corporate leaders are increasingly being drawn into and held accountable to a wide range of social, environmental, and societal issues that go beyond the walls of the firm itself. So part of our focus is to help students understand how to think about these global issues as another tool in your toolkit, right? In addition to your MBA skill set and finance, strategy, marketing, operations, you also really need to be well versed in how the landscape of social and environmental issues is going to affect business in the future. MBAs who are graduating today need to be savvy about these external trends and how they'll invest, how they'll affect their careers as business leaders, entrepreneurs, and investors. And there are few issues that could be as relevant to business in coming decades as climate change, right? Climate change is an issue that is going to affect all kinds of different industries, all kinds of different geographies in a host of different ways, right? Climate change is gonna have effect on global supply chains and how we manage them, on real estate, energy, and transportation infrastructure and investments, on how we produce and source agricultural and raw material inputs, what our cities look like in the future. Everywhere you look, there are going to be changes associated with climate change, and those are going to present risks and opportunities to business. So that's what Climate Cap is all about, right? This is not a forum about politics. This is not a conversation about policy solutions. This is about business, right? There's money to be made and lost. Companies that are forward thinking are thinking about how climate change is going to present real risks to their operations, to their assets, and how they can innovate to respond to climate change in the future. Climate change, excuse me, Climate Cap is truly a partnership event. Fuqua is one of 16 business schools that are putting on this summit. And I want to thank all of those partners in just a moment. As far as we are aware, this is the first multi-school business school summit on climate change in business. We have 150 MBA students from 16 different schools registered to participate in Climate Cap, which will happen today and all day tomorrow. Uh, we also have about 80 others who are joining us in and out as speakers, business school faculty, sponsors, other industry executives. And for the program tonight, we have a handful of others who we have invited to join us from Fuqua's uh, Weekend Executive MBA program, our Master's of Management Studies program, and our Master's of Quantitative Management program, who are here to join us for the program tonight. And finally, we are also live streaming now, and we will be live streaming all the plenary sessions of Climate Cap. So I want to welcome our online audience, but also encourage you, if you're interested in, we'll have the recordings available afterwards. So please, you know, take them back and share them with your faculty and your student colleagues at wherever your home school is. Before we get any further, I need to say a few thank yous. So first of all, thank you to our sponsors, J.P. Morgan Chase, Yardi, Stat Oil, soon to be known as Equinor, and Cambridge Associates. Um, if you haven't already picked up a copy of the Cambridge Associates report on your way in, it's a really useful tool in terms of looking at the financial risks and opportunities related to climate change. Um, I also want to thank our knowledge partners, Climate One, Infintra 360, Climate Kick, and Element, who helped us with thought leadership in putting the program together. 
And I want to thank all of our business school partners who've helped us put together a great program, invite students to attend, and raise visibility for climate change as a business issue. So we've been working with partners at MIT Sloan, at UVA's Darden School of Business, UNC Keenan Flagler, Yale School of Management, Harvard Business School, NYU Stern, UT Austin McCombs, University of Michigan's Ross School and Herbs Institute, Cornell's Johnson College of Business, University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School, Georgia Tech's Scheller College of Business, Northwestern's Kellogg's Kellogg School of Management, London Business School, Stanford Graduate School of Business, and Georgetown University's McDonough School of Business. So it's been a great partnership, and we really couldn't do it without all of those partners involved. And then lastly, I want to thank our program committee, some of whom are here today, our Climate Cap Fellows, our volunteers, and all of our speakers who have been so helpful in making this incredible summit possible. So please join me in a round of applause for all of our speakers and partners. So next I have a couple of logistical announcements, including some fun stuff, so hang in there with me. And then I'm gonna introduce our opening speakers. We will have two keynote sessions tonight. And we've had to shift the order a little bit to accommodate some travel delays. So climate change is all about adaptation and resiliency, right? <laughs> so we're gonna do a little of that ourselves. Um, first, we are going to have Scott Jacobs present, and then he will be in discussion with Greg Dalton. And then second, we are gonna have Matt Arnold in conversation with Truman Seaman. So I have updated this on the, on the agenda on the website. Um, but that's the order uh, we'll switch. And we'll switch for our timekeeper's purposes at around 6.20. Um, so the other logistical announcements, after our plenary sessions, everyone who is here is invited to join us for cocktails in the Kirby Reading Room, which is just down the hall. And after we leave this auditorium, we'll have volunteers in the hall who can help point the way. All of our MBA students who are so inclined to continue the socializing on into the evening, our MBA Masters of Environmental Management Club, which we affectionately call the MEMBA Club, has invited all of you to come to Tyler's Tap Room for some more uh, cocktails and, if you're so inclined, a little bit of basketball watching, if you can put up with the Duke fans in the room. <laughs> so there's a big game on at 9.37 tonight. <laughs> Um, so we've got our student fellows have directions. We'll help you get connected if you want to catch up for the social. Um, last note on logistics, we will be taking audience questions at periodic points throughout the program today and tomorrow. We have a mic on a stand in the aisle back here, so we're going to ask if you do have a question that you line up behind the mic that you um, identify yourself briefly and that you ask a brief question. We have a pretty tight program, so I want to ask for like a one-part question, not a four-part question or a follow-up question. <laughs> um, but we're going to have lots of time for networking and receptions and lunches for you to continue the conversation. And most of our speakers will be around for um, most of the summit, so hopefully you can catch them there if you aren't able to ask your question on stage. So now, if we are ready, I'm going to introduce our first speakers for the evening. Um, I am not going to read lengthy bios. I'll just give you a brief snapshot. If you want to, you can read their bios online uh, on the speakers page of our website, climatecapsummit.org. We don't have a fancy app, so you'll just have to be satisfied with the good old-fashioned website. <laughs> Um, so first, this evening, we're going to have Scott Jacobs, who is the CEO and co-founder of Generate Capital and a Harvard MBA alumnus. He was one of the co-founders of McKinsey & Company's global clean tech practice, and he's well known for his thought leadership on resource productivity. He has a presentation, and then he and Greg Dalton will have a moderated discussion. Greg is a journalist. Some of you may have seen him um, present last night. Um, he is the host of the Climate One podcast, which is a terrific resource. I highly recommend it to any of you if you're not already a subscriber. I always learn something new from the Climate One podcast, which looks at climate change from a lot of different angles. And they have 
guests from private sector like Google CEO Eric Schmidt, Chevron CEO Dave O'Reilly, and Ford Motor Company Chairman Bill Ford, just to name a few, in addition to all kinds of science and policy thought leaders. Then at 6.20, we are going to switch, and we're going to hopefully have Matt Arnold here um, off of his uh, late flight. And he's going to be in conversation with Truman Seaman. So Matt is the Managing Director and Global Head of Sustainable Finance at J.P. Morgan Chase, which helps clients navigate environmental and social risks, engages stakeholders and partners in advancing environmental and social progress, and structures targeted impact investment funds. He is another Harvard MBA alumnus. Truman Siemens is a Duke MBA alumnus, woo <laughs> who has an extensive background in sustainability consulting and investment advisory services. He's the founder and CEO of Element Strategies, and we're really grateful to Truman for stepping in tonight to help us out. He will also be speaking on a panel tomorrow afternoon. So finally, whether you're here for the full summit or whether you're just joining us tonight, I invite you to think about what climate change will mean for your career as a business leader, as an investor, or an entrepreneur. I invite you to think about where the money is, where the risks are, and where the levers of opportunity and innovation are. And I invite you to hear from our thought-provoking speakers and carry that conversation on to our networking throughout the weekend. So without any further discussion, let's get started. Scott. <laughs> 